is going on my peeps? Welcome back to a Sunday video. Not really a BuzzFeed test, not a DIY, kind of somewhere in the middle. I feel like at the very least I owe you guys a couple Sunday videos for how long of a break that I took. So look out for some more in the upcoming weeks, but today I'm trying something that is kind of an internet legend. I've seen it for months, I've wanted to try it for the longest time. According to the internet, you can mix a simple box of cake mix along with 12 ounces of any soda you want and it'll come out perfect. I, for one, refuse to believe that this is possible. Just judging from some of the other simple two to three ingredient recipes I've tried, I don't think this is gonna work. But we're gonna try it out today, so let's get right into it. So guys, most of the ideas that I'm testing out in this video are coming from Huffington Post's article. They have a ton of different flavor combinations that apparently work. But for today, my lineup is going to be lemon cake along with some Sprite to kind of make a double lemony cake, a French vanilla cake with some orange crush soda to make a creamsicle, apparently dark chocolate cake mix and root beer makes a chocolate root beer float. I did have to get the big bottle of this, but I'll measure out 12 ounces. And for the last one, the wild card that I came up with, the strawberry cake mix along with some Sprite to try to make a strawberry lemonade cake? <laughs> I don't know. So let's get right into it. Um, it's pretty much as simple as you think it is. It's just the box of cake mix along with 12 ounces, either a bottle or a can of any soda you want. It's weird because at first it seems super runny and way too liquidy, but once the carbonation dies down and you mix it in a little bit, you, you kind of get the perfect cake mix texture. So, so far so good. I'm gonna cook all of these in square 8 inch pans with some parchment paper and a little bit of butter on the bottom to hopefully prevent them from sticking. I'm gonna cook them all in the same pans with some parchment paper in the same 350 degree oven for about 33 minutes because that's kind of the middle temperature of what all the boxes said. And shockingly, that one looks great. So let's move on to number two, the second box of cake mix, which is the French vanilla cake mix with some orange crushed soda. I think I'm most optimistic about this. I think this will work out the best with the flavors. I prepared the pan the same way, tossed that into the same oven, like I said, and again, it came out kind of good. I'm also throwing these all on some cooling racks that are off camera while I cook the rest of them. But the third one is dark chocolate and root beer. I'm kind of noticing that when these come out of the oven, although they look really good, they are unbelievably soft and sticky. They remind me more of like an angel food cake, how soft and kind of sticky that is, but if they taste good, I really will not care at all. And the last one, probably the weirdest one to put into a cake, some strawberry cake and some lemon soda or Sprite. Visually, this one will probably look the best because of all the pink dye that the factory puts in this crap. And I was right once I got a slice out of that thing. So I got the same size slice out of all four of my cakes, tried to plate them. Yes, they are just as sticky and soft as they were when they came out. Making a little bit of a mess of these slices, but they look pretty good, so let's give them a taste. Now regardless of how these things taste, I think this is a success within itself. I literally just dumped a can of soda in cake mix. They all seem to be cooked fairly well, like there's no raw bits or anything. I cooked them all at the same time. And I do want to go in the order that I cooked them in, so lemon first. It's just so sticky though, like I can't even get a, a spoonful without it crumbling, sticking to my spoon. I'm a little annoyed because that's really good. It does have like the same mouthfeel as an angel food cake. It's really soft, but then you get that like that slight tang from the soda. Quickly, I forgot to mention, I didn't frost any of these because some of the comments that I was reading under the articles of the recipes said that the icing kind of made it like really sweet, like overly sweet. So just gonna try the cakes. That one's really good though, I'm gonna give that like a nine. I have no complaints. Next up, it is French vanilla cake and orange soda. It smells really good, it's a weird like peach color. I feel like that one might be slightly undercooked. I checked all of them with a toothpick and they all seem to be cooked, but it's like, it's got a wet feeling. Again, the taste is not bad. It's really good. You feel like you're eating candy in the form of like fluffy 
sticky cake. Dark chocolate and root beer. I would have never thought to mix these together. All right, finally, we got some results that I was expecting. That one's not good. It tastes like um, a little like dirt. <laughs> I think maybe because the cake mix had some type of like pudding mix along with it, it might have messed it up. It kind of just tastes like you're looking at ashtray or something. <laughs> Not good, that one. Um, two out of ten. And finally, for the grand finale, my homemade concoction, strawberry cake with lemon soda, the strawberry lemonade. It's not as bad as the chocolate, but I don't really like it either. I think it's the very artificial strawberry flavor that I'm not loving. Um, I'll skip that one. <laughs> That'll get like a four out of ten. These two are winners though. I'm shocked that this worked out even in the least bit. I would recommend you guys trying it. Um, not a bad video. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this Huffington Post test. If you did, leave a like on this one. Let me know of other just random recipe ideas you'd want to see me try in the future. Other than that, have an awesome beginning of your week. And I'll see you right back here on Friday for another BuzzFeed test. Until next time.